In question one, we're given the following diagram here, and we're told this represents a graph showing a trace from a spirometer, which traces the movement of air into and out of the lungs. So the movement upwards of the spirometer in the graph trace will represent air moving into the lungs, whereas moving down will represent air moving out. We're asked to find out which of these lettered arrows, A through E, dotted across the diagram, represents the tidal volume. Now this is a question where you either are familiar with the term enough to answer the question, or you're not, in which case you won't be able to identify it. Well, you should be familiar with this diagram, and indeed all of the labels A through E which are marked on it, since these terms tend to crop up from time to time. So the tidal volume will be option A, since this represents the lung volume, which is the normal amount of air, which is either brought into the lungs or brought out of the lungs during normal, healthy inspiration, extra uh, ex exhalation without applying any sort of extra pressure which you might do for a deep breath or a deep exhalation. So this is your tidal volume since this is the normal un unadulterated form of breathing. So moving on to, so we've already got our answer which is option A, but let's move through and figure out what B, C, D and E are just in case. So B we can see represents the total amount of air both when deeply exhaled and deeply inhaled, so this represents the vital capacity of the lungs. Moving on to C, this only refers to the extra amount of air breathed in during extra effort, so this is termed the inspiratory reserve, which can then be accessed if you apply extra effort through the contraction of muscles of the thorax. Moving on to D, this is the expiratory reserve, which is the equivalent of the inspiratory reserve, which you can access if you really want to really deeply breathe out and empty the lungs, which you can do by contracting some of the muscles in the thorax and relaxing the diaphragm. Moving on to E, well, this is like the inspiratory reserve, except it includes normal inspiration within the tidal volume, so this is termed the inspiratory capacity. Okay, so these are all these various terms, and ultimately, you'll, you know, you'll need to be familiar with this diagram and all these terms in order to be confident when answering questions about spirometers. So our answer to this question is option A.